the New Mexico ridge-nosed rattlesnake, Crotalus willardi obscurus, or simply obscurus, only exists in three known populations in Mexico, Arizona, and New Mexico. Tom Jones, Amphibians and Reptiles Program Manager for Arizona Game and Fish Department, explains how Project Obscurus came to be. Dr. Andrew Holycross has been working with this species for many years, and he and a number of colleagues have been monitoring this species, and they've got data to suggest that there have been declines. We have collected the same species in a mountain range in Mexico, and we're bringing those here into this mountain range so that hopefully they can breed with the local animals and improve the genetic makeup of the animals here. The mountain range they occur in in Mexico, they're pretty secure. It's an enormous mountain range, and um, our initial studies indicate that they should be able to weather climate change in that range. It's the two U.S. populations that are at risk of blinking out from climate change. The New Mexico ridge-nosed rattlesnake was listed as a threatened species in 1978 and is currently one of only two rattlesnake species protected under the Endangered Species Act. We're releasing 12 animals. We're releasing one mom who's about three days post parturient with her nine babies. Mom generally stays with those babies for about seven days or so until they shed, and then everybody disperses. The other mom, she's got a litter as well, and we've got a young of the year snake with her, and we'll release those two together. Welcome home, honey. Welcome to your new home. Welcome to your new home. Discharge those babies. Oh, look at that. Thank you, dear. Perfect. This international collaboration of academia, state, national, and civilian groups is the first ever recovery action for this rattlesnake. One of the great things about this project is it's a multi-partner effort. It started with Dr. Andrew Holy Cross, and he had some ideas. He approached the Rattlesnake Conservancy out of Jacksonville, Florida to help out with it, and the Fish and Wildlife Service in the New Mexico Field Office for Ecological Services and Arizona Game and Fish because we're releasing the animals into Arizona. We've also brought in partners from the U.S. Forest Service and most importantly, because we are taking animals from Mexico, Dr. Jesus Sigala from Aguas Calientes who managed to facilitate permits to collect the animals and export them. And without the participation of our Mexican partners, this wouldn't have happened. The Rattlesnake Conservancy received a recovery challenge grant for recovery work with the federally threatened New Mexico ridge-nosed rattlesnake. I work with a lot of partners typically for a lot of species that I work with. And so without having those partners to help us uh, do research, to do recovery, to do conservation, I mean, we, we just, we wouldn't get the conservation and recovery that, we, that we're at without those partners. It's wonderful to see a lot of the passion and the knowledge from other institutions and citizens come together to help us work on this project and use the best available science and use the best available data to really do our work in ways that benefit all the species here. The crew brought 42 snakes into the United States, 30 of which were entered into the captive breeding program. The Arizona Sonora Desert Museum, the Los Angeles Zoo, and the San Antonio Zoo, all of whom have experience with venomous snake husbandry. They each got 10 snakes, and they will be keeping those snakes in captivity and breeding them so that we have more stock to release back into the wild. We are involved with this program to be the uh, human care aspect to where we bring these animals out of the wild, put them into our institutions to hopefully reproduce animals for future offspring that will go back into the wild. An effort this large with this many conservation partners working together to really save a species from extinction is uh, its pretty groundbreaking. We're just very grateful we get to contribute to it and participate in it. Project Obscurus is just the first step of a recovery action many years in the making for the New Mexico ridge-nosed rattlesnake. This is a big experiment. Recovery is not always just going out and adding more animals or fixing a problem. It may take us years to find out if it worked or not, but it's important to give it a shot. It's been just a community of people that have been studying them together and uh, I've just kind of been a, a ringmaster of sorts over the years more than anything else. And a lot of those folks who were present 30 years ago and participating in 
just the early scientific trips where we were radio tracking snakes and doing mark recapture and collecting blood samples and you know trying to figure out what's going on with them genetically. Those folks are back here. So it's really full circle.